Hello, I'm Walter Cronkite, and I'd like to tell you about some children for whom this world of ours isn't always such a wonderful place. Children who struggle to survive each and every day. Children whose life-threatening illnesses color every part of their young lives. Doctors, hospital rooms, wheelchairs, those are a daily part of their everyday life. For these children and their moms and dads and brothers and sisters, coping with each new day becomes a continuous struggle. Knowing that the last wish of over 70% of these youngsters was to see Mickey Mouse, Henry Landwerk established Give Kids the World, a nonprofit organization, and did that in 1986. Give Kids the World brings the magic back into the lives of these children by providing them and their families a joyful, week-long, memory-filled Central Florida vacation that includes all accommodations, visits to area attractions, local transportation, and meals at no expense to the family at all. Since its establishment, Give Kids the World has welcomed more than 4,000 children suffering from life-threatening illnesses each year. When Henry Landworth came to us with his wonderful plan to bring these very special children to Walt Disney World, we asked Henry, how can we help? Well, of course, Henry had an answer. Give kids the world, he said. So that's exactly what we're doing, and we'll continue to do, as long as there are children who wish upon a star to see Mickey Mouse. In order to cut through the bureaucratic red tape, and make sure no child's last wish goes unfulfilled. Henry organized a network of local businesses, attractions, services, and volunteers whose sole purpose was to give kids the world. Answering the need for a special place for wish families to stay during their visit, the Give Kids the World Foundation opened the Kids Village in 1989. The village, set on 35 acres in Kissimmee, Florida, accommodates up to 4,000 families a year. Rising majestically in the center of this magical village is a castle right out of a fairy tale carousel of all sorts of whimsical creatures, a giant fun ship, and a lake stocked with fish. Everything in the village is wheelchair accessible, including a playground with a bright red fire engine and a swimming pool. And kids feel right at home in the gingerbread house, where wish families enjoy breakfast and dinner, often with some very special guests. There's even a chapel for quiet moments of reflection. Families visiting the village stay in one of 56 villas, each designed to accommodate the special needs of the children. The village welcome center is staffed 24 hours a day, and a doctor always is on call. It really doesn't take any special talent or ability to be part of the Give Kids the World family. Just a caring heart, commitment to helping someone else, and a belief that through our actions, we can make a difference. To see a child who hasn't smiled in days, beaming from ear to ear, a weary mom light up with joy, to watch a dad so accustomed to carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders in a rare moment of laughter, these are the most precious gifts in the world. This is the gift Give Kids the World gives to all its families. I'm pleased, proud, and honored to be on the Executive Advisory Board of Give Kids the World. Now, Give Kids the World is a national foundation that fulfills the wishes of terminally ill children in your local community to visit the Walt Disney World area. So when you give kids the world, you're truly giving an experience of a lifetime. Give Kids the World is dedicated to the memory of every child whose last wish had to go unfulfilled. To date, Give Kids the World has never turned down a child 
though at times the need is so great that almost as many families must stay at hotels throughout the Orlando area as stay in the kids' village. These hotels are not designed to support children with life-threatening illnesses, unlike the kids' village, where everything is specially designed with the youngsters in mind. To fulfill the growing need, the Give Kids the World Village has begun a massive expansion that will double the size of the existing village while adding even more wheelchair accessible facilities to enjoy. At the heart of the expansion is the Amberville train station. This interactive train station includes a waterway with remote controlled boats and cars, a game room for the youngsters, and a miniature train to transport the children. A giant cupcake will be added to the gingerbread house, providing 120 new seats. The new ice cream palace, with its giant ice cream cone columns and graham cracker roof, will be a very special treat for the youngsters. Families will be invited to enjoy first-run movies at the 120-seat Screen Dreams Movie Theater. There'll even be a miniature go-kart speedway for the kids. And the House of Hearts on the Avenue of Angels will offer a warm welcome to arriving guests. The bulk of the expansion will be the construction of 42 villas allowing the village to welcome an additional 3,000 families each year. It's through the continued support of people like you, caring individuals, volunteers, and companies who give of their time, talent, and money that the miracle of Give Kids the World can continue. Sometimes in life, we're very fortunate to get involved in something special and unique. And that's how we at Procter & Gamble feel about our relationship with Give Kids the World. We at Anheuser-Busch and SeaWorld are committed to helping families make memories as special, as laugh-filled, as heartwarming as they possibly can be. For many children, those who are battling life-threatening illnesses, a visit to the ballpark is only a dream. They may never again have the chance to run the bases as your kids and mine do, or sit with dad in the stands. We in the Major League Baseball Players Association are proud to join hands with Give Kids the World to help make their dreams come true. When we at Perkins Family Restaurants heard of the great work that Henry Landworth was doing with Kids Village, we wanted to get involved with a special cause for very special kids. It's really an honor to be able to share the excitement of NASCAR racing with such a special group of people. The entire family of NASCAR, its drivers, teams, tracks, sponsors, licensees, everyone, is joining together to give a memorable NASCAR experience to the children of Give Kids the World. Through our support of Give Kids the World, Kmart associates and customers are able to transform dreams into realities for thousands of children and create memories for families that last a lifetime. Hello, I'm Tom Oliver. Normally, I'd be speaking to you about the exciting developments underway at Bass Hotels and Resorts or at one of our world-class hotel brands. Today, I have a different message in mind. It's a message of hope, of compassion, and of making the dreams of some very important young people and their families come true. I learned what Henry and Pam Landworth were doing at Give Kids the World shortly after I joined this organization, and I found myself enormously impressed by not only what they had accomplished thus far, but amazed at what they planned for the future. We're delighted to be part of making that dream a reality. We've given our financial support to Give Kids the World and encouraged all of our hotels around the globe to join us. Together, we have the ability to make a tremendous difference in the lives of thousands of families each year. But when you think about it, if our combined efforts brought a smile to the face of just one of these children, it would still be worth every penny. Thank you. Henry Landworth, who founded Give Kids the World, has a favorite quote from Winston Churchill. We make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. There's one thing that I love more than anything else I have ever done in my life and that is to be with Give Kids the World. It is almost like getting a gift from God to 
be able to be here and to service these wonderful families. Watching the smiles of these children is worth everything that you live for. The fact is that we all come here the same way, we live the same way. And what we do in between, it really counts. And I had this great, wonderful opportunity to do this. Henry's life hasn't always been so wonderful. Like these very special children and their families, he knows how precious memories can be. A child prisoner of five concentration camps, he and his twin sister, Margot, lost both parents at age 13. Somehow, Henry made his way to America in 1950. Since then, his tremendous energy and intelligence have garnered him many successes and earned him enduring friendships. Give Kids the World began as Henry's dream. Today, it's a dream come true for all of us who want to make wishes come true for some very special children. Thanks to so many people, who give up their time, their services, their money, thousands of children will visit the village this year at no cost to their families. For more than 80% of these families, this is their first opportunity to travel outside of their community and unfortunately, maybe their last chance to travel together as a family. These children come to us from all over the world from more than 50 countries, including the United Kingdom, the Netherlands, Russia, Israel, and China. Give Kids the World has touched people's hearts and lives in ways too immeasurable to count. Families tell us of the miracle of watching a sick child too tired to get out of bed, running to greet Mickey Mouse, of seeing the light come back into a child's eyes, a shy smile return once more. Many parents are convinced that these happy days together have not only brought joy to their loved ones, but actually have added precious days to their time together. Now I'll admit that as a lifelong newsman, I'm sometimes just a little skeptical, but watching this humble man, Henry Lambert, who's been honored as one of the 12 most caring people in America, as he strives to make wishes come true for children with only a few tomorrows ahead of them, has convinced even me, miracles can happen. And with lots of help from people like you, they'll happen every day when you give kids the world.